Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Sandy. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm back to do a review and a first impressions on a stick foundation that I picked up from Juvia's Place. This will be my second stick foundation that I'll be trying out. I've only tried one ever and it's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I've always wanted to try more but this one caught my eye and it's affordable. They sell at a decent price, it's nothing too crazy. So if you guys want to see if I like it, then keep on watching. First, let's start off with the packaging. It's in this little carton box. It says it's a multi-purpose foundation stick. So I'm assuming that you can um, contour, highlight if you buy the other shades. Picked up the shade Panama. And let's read what it says it claims to be. It's formulated to feel like skin. The shade stick is a weightless multi-purpose formula that glides on seamlessly to cover imperfections will give you full definition to face. This is a full coverage formula and it's oil controlling. So I am excited for that because you guys know that I love foundations that are full coverage. You know that. So, and it does have iron oxide so it does mean that it could oxidize. So if I did get a little lighter shade, so then of course it's going to oxidize so that way it will fit my skin. It's not quite 1 ounce, it is 0.34 ounces, but like I said, the price for it is not bad. It's $16, so it's nothing too crazy. It's very affordable. And here's the shade. So it looked like it might match me, but we're going to find out. So let's move these spittles out the way. Do you guys like my hair today? How I crimped it up. And I don't want to hear nobody say that I copied. Girl, I've been having that crimper for like 10 years. That was my style back then in the day. That was my style crimping my hair. Okay, now it's just back in the groove. So, and just let me take a sip of my Starbucks. And as you guys know, I only have uh, makeup on my eyes and just primer. Primer. I have nothing else on my face but moisturizer. So, and my eyelashes look different, right? This one looks like it's bigger than this one. It's the same eyelashes, I promise. I just don't know why it's doing that. And then I still don't have any nails. So I have like little stubs. So you guys don't mind my nails. I know I always have cute nails, but not today. All right, let's zoom you guys in closer so you guys can see my pretty little face. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is my Wet n Wild Matte Primer. This one is newer, um, and I like it because it leaves you matte. So my skin has been acting weird, okay? So I've been getting some breakouts, and, and then like here on this side, it's like dry. So I don't know what's been going on. So I'm just going to prime here where my pores are at. Where I get the oiliest at. When I've been good, you guys have been drinking water. And I don't know. It's probably this weather. Seriously, like my lips have been so chapped and I always put chapstick. Like my go-to is my Laneige one. I have it on now. And they've just been crusty, girl. It's been windy here where I live. And all of a sudden, like one day it's like 80s and the next day it's like, bitch, it's cold. 50, 40. Oh, what the fuck? No snow, but it's still cold and it's windy, so my hands feel all gosh. They're like all dry, but whatever. What I'm gonna do today, because I've heard that with the foundation sticks, it doesn't blend that well with the beauty blender or the sponge, whatever. It blends more better with a brush, so I have two. So I'm going to use the um, Believe Beauty foundation brush and then of course as always I'm going to take my e.l.f. sponge to blend it out on one side and then we'll try it on the other side. I am missing an earring. This one's on, this one's not. So I pierced my ears like June, okay. And you know it was fine but it was starting to hurt and I was putting salt water. So I just took it out. Maybe it needs to rest. <laughs> so, um, as you can tell, it might be a little bit um, too light, maybe. Maybe, because it does says it oxidizes. So, we will see. It does glide on very smooth. It doesn't feel, like, too dry or too thick. So, it feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel too heavy. 
So I'm going to take the Believe Beauty brush and then I'm just going to blend this side of my face out first and see how that works. And that doesn't smell like anything. I always like to smell stuff. I don't like foundations that are too heavily scented because then I get a headache. Like, if it doesn't smell good, you know? So as you can tell, like, right off the bat, boom! Baby's full coverage. Just what I like. And it looks like it's blending out pretty good with this brush, you guys. This brush is only $5, girl, at the Dollar General. And it's blending out good. Like, look. No streaks. No streaks. I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, and the foundation is blending out really nice. Like, it's not hard to blend. I'm not, like, pulling on my skin too hard. It's blending out, like, really good. So that really excites me. Because it's a stick foundation. It's affordable. And it's full coverage. And, yeah. We like that. Okay, so that's with the brush. So now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Beauty Sponge. Don't look at it. It's a little bit dirty. I used it this morning for work, but it was just concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and blend out here and see the difference. And then I did a few swipes as you guys see me do on the video here. Okay, so let's take a quick look and see. So, okay, for sure my thoughts, the brush definitely makes it more full coverage than the actual sponge side. You see how it made it like a less coverage on this side with the sponge? Yeah. So, I think this foundation will work but I mean if you want it not to full coverage then you can definitely use a sponge you know but since I like full coverage I will go ahead and just use the brush to blend it out unless I feel like lighter days lighter a little bit lighter you know um, to blend out the foundation so as you guys can tell it is a little bit lighter than my skin but I'm hoping that it does oxidize because it does have oxidizing agents in it. So I'm hoping that it does get a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup. I'm going to bronze, blush, highlight the whole shebang. And then I will come back to show you guys how the foundation wears with all the makeup on. Okay, you guys. So here it is with my full face of makeup on. It looks really good. The foundation is a full coverage, but it does look better with the brush instead of the sponge if you are looking for that full coverage. Um, I mean, if you want a little bit lighter, then do the sponge. It'll still be full, but not as full. Um, but I feel like the color, if you guys can see, look, I bronze the shit out of my neck. It's still a little light. It almost looks like a little bit pinkish to me. I don't know if it's because of the lighting inside, but I'm going to give it time to oxidize and then I'm going to wear it throughout the day. Hopefully it does get darker, but if not, Panama Girl is too light for me if it does not oxidize. Um, so I will definitely be trading it in for a darker color, um, you know, if it doesn't do that. But the foundation overall is really good. You guys, like, what do you think? Like... How does it look on my face? I look a little dewy right now because I sprayed the um, Fosarly, um Skin Mist. And it makes you look good, girl. Like, <laughs> But I sprayed that out, so that's why my skin looks a little dewy. I don't want to be... You know, my like I said, like I have like dry spots right here and I can see it with the foundation. But I feel like if you're really dry, this would not be the foundation for you. Because... Like, it did pick the texture up here, like, from my dryness. So I feel like if you're, like, super dry, it's going to pick up the texture and it's not going to look cute. But I get really oily throughout the day, so it's not, you're not going to really see the dryness that I have there. Because, girl, it's going to be oily, no, no primer, nothing. Like, I know there's stuff out there that said to control oils, but... My oil still seep through, girl. Like, the most, the most is, like, four hours. After that, I have to be, like, blotting throughout the day. There's, like, I haven't found anything ever 
to work that makes my skin not oily more than four hours so I mean if you have let me know because I have a whole bunch of primers but I mean other than that the foundation does look great on the skin besides the color that I picked but let me know what your guys' thoughts are if you guys tried it already if you like it if you hate it let me know down in the comments below I will keep you guys updated in the description box below to see if it did oxidize and if it did fit my skin tone um, if it got really oily you know the whole shebang but thank you guys so much for watching and always supporting me and I will see you guys on the next one